all right guys welcome uh, we are now applying the first three theorems that we learned namely a line drawn from the center of a circle perpendicular to the chord bisects the chord secondly a line drawn from the center of a circle to the midpoint of the chord is perpendicular to the chord thirdly the perpendicular bisector of the chord passes through the center of a circle my advice of course i won't apply it throughout but um I will try to apply it as much is that one you need to have color okay whenever you're dealing with Euclidean geometry you have to have color to try to work out the problem try to work out the solutions on the diagram first before you can address them on your uh, on your question paper of course I'm not gonna be faithful throughout because with experience then you can look at the question and uh, look at the diagram and try to answer but since we are just being introduced to this this is how I'm gonna start with it okay so if I analyze this, they're saying O is the center. So now if O is the center, whenever you hear that with center, the first three things that must come to your mind is the first three theorems there. Okay. And then they say to us that AC is uh, eight units. So AC is eight units. And they tell us that OB is three units. They furthermore tell us that uh, OB uh, is perpendicular to um, OB is perpendicular to Ntwena to AC okay meaning it forms an angle of 90 degrees okay so what I can just see from here without me even continuing further is that I notice that there is a line that is drawn from the center of a circle and this line that is drawn from the center of a circle is perpendicular to this chord meaning if the whole line of AC is 8 this line must be 4 and that line must be 4 okay so I'm gonna write this uh, just for myself to remember what I did I'm gonna write this as point number one and I'm gonna just say uh, Pep, I'm going to say line from center to court. Just to remember what I did with that. Then I noticed that, oh, okay, the only side that I'm actually missing is OC. But I realized that I am given, I am given, point number two, I am given that this is an angle of 90 degrees. So now if a triangle forms an angle of 90 degrees, that is the only time that I'm legalized to use the theorem of Pythagoras. Guys, please note, you cannot apply the theorem of Pythagoras if you have not already shown us that the angle is an angle of 90 degrees. Okay, so I can find OC by applying Pythagoras. by applying Pythagoras. So for that, I can simply say that OC squared equals to OB squared plus, and this is my point number three, plus um, BC squared. Okay, so now OC squared, OC will just be the square root of all of this, the square root of OB squared plus BC squared. So our OB there, it's three squared. Our BC there, it's actually four. We solve that, and then that is uh, nine plus nine plus sixteen, which is actually the square root of twenty-five, which is five. So I found this to be five. Okay, now I'm ready to go answer the questions. Uh, now they say to me, I must find the length of AB. Notice I've already found the length of AB. So this is gonna be my opening statement. My opening statement is gonna look like this. I'm going to first state what was given to me. Well, I was given that AC is equals to 8 units. But I'm going to conclude that AB is equals to BC, which is equals to 4 units. And the reason is that if I draw a line from the center of a circle, and that line happens to be perpendicular to the chord, it must be bisect the chord so i'm gonna say line from center perpendicular to chord if you forgot how to abbreviate this according to exam guidelines you are advised guys to actually um to actually 
to actually do this thing to actually write the whole reason okay all right so that's how you you could do that okay let's go to number two In number two they say that we must find oc okay now uh, you must now remember how you went about finding oc okay so uh notice here what i'm gonna say you know i'm gonna refer to this triangle i'm gonna say in triangle in triangle obc this is what's happening i'm gonna say one i am given that uh the angle o b c is equal to 90 degrees and the reason i'm saying that is because i am now legalized to apply but by showing that the angle is 90 degrees i will be legalized to apply the theorem of pythagoras all right um so i'm gonna say here this was given and i'm gonna go ahead and say that bc is equals to ab which equals to four units okay and i'm gonna say this was proven in one so i must be specific where was that proven all right all right uh now i'm gonna also state that ob is equals to three units and i'm gonna say that's given then i'm gonna say uh i'm gonna say that oc squared is equals to ob squared plus bc squared and i'm gonna simply say this is by the pythagorean theorem or as, as we know commonly theorem of pythagoras okay so now this is going to be oc squared our ob there it's three squared our bc is four squared so then uh that is going to be oc squared that is nine plus 16 which is oc squared equals to 25 then if i square root both sides remembering that we can never here have negative answers our answers must always be positive so that is the square root of 25 is simply five units okay so if you notice i was already done with the question now when i write it actually uh, in my answer script i write it in such a way that whoever reads it it makes sense unto them all right guys we move uh, let's look at the second question here in the second question uh, they now say O is the center. If they say O is the center, the first thing that must come to your mind is all the center theorems that you know. Okay. And then they say to you that AC is 16. AC is 16. Now, if AC is 16, since here with these two lines here, this lines here, they're indicating you to you that a b is equals to b c so since that is 16 that actually implies that a b is 8 and b c is 8 okay and of course it's already given also there and then we are told that o a is um o a is 17 okay now guys i would again try to solve this of of course uh people i'm not gonna be consistent with this but it's just another trick that you can perhaps learn uh, that will be that will actually help you now i notice here that there is a line that has been drawn from the center of a circle and it actually meets at the midpoint of the chord so the theorem there says it is by default perpendicular to the chord okay so that means that this angle oba is actually 90 degrees and i'm going to state here that the reason here is simply because um line from center to midpoint of court okay so that is the reason and then i'm gonna go ahead and say okay since i've proven that that is 90 degrees i will then be legalized to find what ob is okay because i can find ob by using what guys the theorem of pythagoras so i can therefore say that um that oa squared is equals to oa squared is equals to um ab squared plus ob squared okay and i, I must emphatically in, in state here that i applied the pythagorean theorem okay so oa squared there it's 17 
AB squared there, it's 8. And I'm solving for OB. Okay. So that is 17 squared minus 8 squared equals to OB squared. And then that is just going to give me 225. Square root both sides, our OB will be 15. Okay. So notice I have solved for that. That is 15. Okay. Uh, let, let, let's go ahead and answer the questions i think i didn't write the question for this one so um let me write the questions down i didn't write the question down the question was actually saying calculate the length of ob okay that is what the question was asking so now guys what you're gonna do here now you go back to your trend of thought how did you actually solve for ob Okay, so the first thing that we we noted very carefully is that we were given that AC is equals to 16 units. Okay, that's what we were given. But we were also given that AB is equals to BC. Seeing that B is the midpoint, we concluded that they are all equals to 8 units. Again, that was given. Okay, and then we went to our very critical step. We said in this particular case that the angle OBA OBA equals to 90 degrees because this is a line from center to the midpoint of the court. Okay. That's what we noted very carefully so. Okay, and now that we have proven that that thing was 90 degrees, we were then legalized that we can apply the theorem of Pythagoras. Okay, so we went again and said, oh, okay. Then I can say that OA squared equals to AB squared plus OB squared. Okay, and I'm going to simply say that is the theorem of Pythagoras. Okay, if I check my OA squared, uh, and I just just write whatever I wrote on my rough page there, my OA squared was 17, AB was 8, uh, and OB squared is what I was looking for. Then I applied the additive inverse, and I got that OB squared is 225, and I square rooted both sides to find that it's 15 units. You see, it becomes easier excuse me, it becomes easier to solve this if you have already solved it uh, on your worksheet. Okay. okay, so of course, I'm not going to apply this throughout, but it's a nice trick to learn.